that I simply must hear. So he paused, and the Grinch put his hand to his ear, and he did hear a sound rising over the snow. It started in low, and then it started to grow. But the sound wasn't sad. Why, this sounded merry. It sounded merry, very, merry, merry, very, very merry. He stared down at Whoville, the Grinch popped his eyes, then he shook. What he saw was a shocking surprise. Every Who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, was singing without any presents at all. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came. Somehow or other, it came just the same. And the Grinch, with his Grinch feet ice cold in the snow, stood puzzling and puzzling. How could it be so? It came without ribbons. It came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or bags. He puzzled three hours till his puzzler was sore. Then the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe Christmas, he thought, doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas, perhaps, means a little bit more. And what happened then? Well, in Whoville they say that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. And the minute his heart didn't feel quite so tight, he whizzed with his old load through the bright morning light. And he brought back the toys and the food for the feast, and he, he himself, the Grinch carved the roast beast. Thus ends our reading.